The Pacific Bowl kicks off this weekend and will run in line with the Pacific Championship. Papua New Guinea, Fiji, and the Cook Islands will do battle in a three-way tournament on Bank Stadium. It was PNG who won this game, this tournament last year. But this is going to be a big test for PNG. I think this year, Fiji have a much better roster on paper. But as much as I'd love to see the Cook Islands do well, and as much as I know how good this team could be, a lot of them deciding to represent the Kiwis. I think that they could be a powerhouse, but I don't think they're going to pose a challenge to Fiji and PNG. But it feels like Papua New Guinea, this could be a really good chance for them to showcase their junior talent. Obviously, the 18th team NRL bid has been blown up in the year with the NRL rejecting one from the West Coast Bears. And we know there's been rumours for a bloody long time that the Australian government want to make a deal with Papua New Guinea to get another NRL team in there. So, while the this might not do anything. A good performance from PNG to go back to back Pacific Championship bowls could be just enough to show the NRL that they've at least got some junior development. But in order for that to happen, they have to pull out a cheeky W first. So let's go through some of these squads. Let's compare them now. To be honest, guys, this may shock all of you, but I'm not too versed in Queensland Cup and Reserve Grade Rugby League as much as I'd like to be. So a lot of these players, to be honest, especially on the Cook Islands, I'm not too familiar with. But there are some big names in these squads and for Papua New Guinea, once again, I do think that they have the best players in the key positions. Now, they will be without Alex Johnston, who did suffer that ruptured Achilles, which unfortunately, this Ranga knows all too well. So, that will be a huge loss, but they've still got Lockie Lamb. And while Lamb has been killing it in the Super League, I do think he is, without a doubt, the best half in this entire tournament. And like we speak about with every NRL game, the reason why halfbacks and why the spine is paid so much is because they pretty much play the most important role in deciding who wins a game in this glorious sport that is rugby league. So Lockie Lamb off the bat will give PNG a huge advantage and they've also got the best forward in the competition. Like we spoke about with that Pacific Championship preview yesterday, the reason why I rate Tonga as highly as I do is because of their forward back. And Jack DeBellin looking at all the rosters is probably in my opinion at least the best prop in the entire competition. They've also got Edwin Ipapa who has been a great dummy half for Papua New Guinea and once again with Api Kurosawa not playing for Fiji he pretty much is without a doubt the best number 9 option out of these three countries. So when you give a team the best 7 and the best 9 by a long way in my opinion chuck in there Jack DeBellin who at his best is a front rower who can compete with the best forwards in the NRL, it's going to give Papua New Guinea a huge advantage over some of these other teams. I am interested to see how Davey Mawali can go, because looking at this Cook Islands team, him and Xavier Wilson too, I think those are two young gun front rowers who are going to have to lead Cook Islands in this specific bowl. They're going to have to absolutely dominate to give them any chance, and Broncos and Rabbitohs fans should be excited to see how these two can can go. Willison was definitely a shining light for the Broncos in a season where they really struggled and Davy Mawali was probably the Bunnies best prop and look respectfully to South fans that isn't saying too much but the point still stands if Mawali and Willison can go out there and dominate we know how important it is to get on the front foot in these games it doesn't matter how good PNG spine is then Cook Islands can cause an upset but I think the Cook Islands know their best chance to squeak into a final is going to be up against Fiji. And Fiji, unfortunately, they do have Tui Kamakamifa, but outside of that, Caleb Navali will go here, play two games for Manly this year. But with Fiji, usually, this is always the case, I really struggle about their forward rotation, especially without the Saifidi brothers. And there's no real genuine half. Tane Milne is probably going to have to play 5-8. To be honest, I could probably see a Kevin Nagama, a Kurt Donahue. Maybe one of them is going to have to stand in at halfback. But Fiji G, what always excites me and why I've been waiting for them to take that next level. In my opinion, we should look at Fiji in the same way that we look at Tonga, that we look at Samoa, and what they've done in rugby speaks volumes. They've got some ball players. I'd love to see more halves come through the grades from Fiji. Brandon Wakem would be there if he wasn't such a naughty
naughty little boy. And I know Brandon Wakeham hasn't done too well in the NRL, but I do think he's a halfback that could compete with Lockie Lamb. But they've still got Mike Aceva. They're going to have Michael Jennings, Wagga Blake. And then what Fiji also have is, without a doubt, the best player in this competition, bar none, Viliami Kikau. He is going to be so instrumental in Fiji getting the win. And maybe his ball playing, the ball handling skills, the skills that he has shown he can do can help make up for the fact they've got no real genuine half. So Kikau is the key. Kikau is probably going to be the best player in this competition if he's not Fiji are in deep trouble. But if we get Kikau at his best, and I've got no doubt, despite how good maybe Wilson and David Moali can be for the Cook Islands, we're going to get a PNG versus Fiji final. And I do think they match up very well. I think the forward pack battle will be even. The outside back battle will definitely go to Fiji. And while I think Fiji do have the overall advantage when it comes to the 1-17s on paper, you just can't underestimate Lockie Lamb. He is without a doubt the best half on the field, unless Kurt Donahue could have a madness, who is still an up-and-coming player for the Dolphins. I'd love to see Fiji take that next step. If Viliami Kickout could have a day out, if they can completely nullify PNG, then maybe they could get the dub in the final. But it feels like every time we see these two teams play, it goes one way. And I think Jack DeBellin is good enough to nullify any sort of advantage that Fiji try through the middle. And up in New Guinea, in what could be a defining series for them as a rugby league nation, I think they go back to back claiming Pacific Bowls in 2024. Can VG take the next step? Can Cook Islands cause an almighty upset? Guys, let me know in that comment section down below. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet already. And of course, I'll see you in the next one.